Hey guys, welcome to Watchman Review and Merry Christmas to everyone. In celebration of Christmas, I want to share with you a video posted by a dear friend and brother who recently had an amazing dream that brought him closer to God, literally overnight. I share it with you now and hope that it may also inspire you to be ready when Jesus comes back for his bride. So, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year everyone. I present to you a visit to the Opera House. Hello, my name is Buck Bailey. I'm a believer in Christ, but I'm not a preacher or evangelist or a theologian or anything. Uh, but on October the 10th, uh, 2017, at around 7.35 a.m., I was praying and um, asking the Holy Spirit if there was a good way that I could share God's message about redemption and salvation. And uh, the Holy Spirit then gave me a vision, and I tell folks it was kind of like a dream, but I was awake. And um, this is not a work of fiction. And uh, I have to admit, I'm not smart enough to make this up myself. And uh, it's surely from the Holy Spirit, and I want to share it with you guys. So there was a young man who found himself in the lobby of a beautiful opera house and uh, there was gorgeous you know chandeliers and columns and paintings with angels and landscapes and just this amazing beautiful architecture and all of this really beautiful light that was just coming from everywhere it was coming from these big chandeliers but it just seemed to be everywhere this golden warm light so he started moving through the spaces uh, and going towards the main auditorium and when he got into the main auditorium he saw all these you know rows and rows of chairs with uh, beautiful red fabric on them and all all these chandeliers and even more columns and just fantastic architecture and paintings and he was really excited because he knew that something special was going to be happening later and as he looked towards the front of the auditorium he saw the big red velvet curtain just waiting for this performance that was to come then he found himself back in the foyer or lobby of this great opera house and there was a velvet rope that was stretched across the whole width of the lobby and standing there in the center was a man who was dressed in a black suit and looked to be in about his mid-thirties and uh, he realized that this man was the ticket taker so as he approached the ticket taker, he began to realize that he was wearing the clothes that he wears when he's doing his adventure sports and adventure travels. So he's a guy that loves to go hiking and camping and kayaking and mountain climbing and fishing and all of these incredible outdoor activities. So he's standing in front of the ticket taker and uh, he starts to feel pretty sheepish that he's, you know, in these muddy, dirty clothes and that he doesn't smell too good. So the ticket taker looks at him and uh, he doesn't act disgusted uh, and he's kind but firm. And he says, I can't let you in. You're too dirty why didn't you bathe before you came and the young man says somewhat sheepishly i didn't think about it and then he sort of offers hopefully uh in this day and age i didn't think we had to dress up for stuff anymore and the ticket taker then says show me your ticket please to which the young man replies i didn't know i needed one the man again looking kindly but firmly says surely you know that a ticket is required there's a ticket booth out front 
that says tickets, plain as day, and it's been there your whole life. I'm sorry, I can't let you in. Please exit this way. And the man gestures with his outstretched left hand towards an exit hallway to the man's left or the young man's right on the side of the lobby. The young man looks over there and sees what he believes to be an exit sign above the hallway. And as he approaches it, he comes to the realization that he has died and his spirit has appeared at the opera house. And as he passes under the sign, he looks up and it no longer says exit, it says hell. And instantly he's gripped with an intense fear, an incredible angst, terror. And he cries out with fear, why didn't I clean myself up and get a ticket? And as he screams, he is powerless to turn back from the hallway. And as the moment the hallway draws him in, he wakes up in his bed and he's alive and he's not dead anymore. And he jumps up and throws on his shoes and pulls on the dirty clothes he was wearing before. And he runs flat out as fast as he can down empty streets to the opera house. As he approaches the huge opera house, the Gothic building, big stone building, out front on the sidewalk, he sees a ticket booth. And the ticket booth is ornate and it has um, ornament ornamentation on it. It has lights around it and it has lights within it. And there's a big sign on it that says tickets. And he looks in there and uh, he sees a man in the ticket booth. And the man in the ticket booth is um, also got on a black suit and he appears a little older and maybe a little shorter than the ticket taker. But the young man notices that the the ticket giver uh, looks to be related to the ticket taker. He figures he's an uncle or older brother or some sort of relative. The ticket giver looks straight at the young man and he holds out a paper ticket and he says, the owner of the theater offers you a free ticket, but there are two conditions you must accept. First, that he paid a terrible price so that you can have this free ticket. He paid this price because he wants you to join him and love the opera that he created as he does. Secondly, that by accepting this free ticket, you understand that you will receive a new suit to which no dirt or mud will ever cling. And it will be like a shower when you accept the ticket washing you clean and applying the new suit all at once. And with this ticket and the new suit, you may enter the opera at any time. So with deep gratitude and thankfulness, the young man accepts the ticket and is instantly transformed. He feels clean and refreshed. The shame of his previous condition is totally gone. He marvels at the fabric of the suit it's something he's never seen before, and he can tell by the feel of it that no mud or dirt can cling to it, and nothing can smudge it or tear it. And he knows that later in his life, when he dies again, he can enter the lobby and approach the ticket taker with confidence. He imagines the ticket taker simply smiling at him, taking his ticket and gesturing with his outstretched hand towards the opera waiting beyond. So the more I think about it, the more I realize how perfectly this vision describes how redemption and salvation works. Do you know who the figures are? The ticket taker is Jesus. The ticket giver is God's Holy Spirit. The theater is heaven. And the coming opera is God's eternal plan for us. But where is God himself? He is the light, that warm, glowing, amazing light of love. My second video 
is called Free Ticket to Heaven. And it's also inspired by the Holy Spirit. And it explains redemption and salvation according to the Bible. I hope this has been a blessing to you. And I wish you joy.